So for a while, a lot of people have often noticed that Mewtwo is actually on Bill's lighthouse. And while this was in the anime, some people have often speculated and have asked, why is it that Bill knew about Mewtwo in the first place? And if you really think about it, it's not too far-fetched to say that maybe Bill was involved with Team Rocket at some point, or he had funding from them. Either way, he knew what was going on in the series. He knew what was going on with... Um, I mean, heck, even one of the timelines, you could even say in the, po in the Pokemon Omega timeline, um, uh, he was killed. He was actually murdered by Koga, who worked for Team Rocket. And even without Giovanni's expressions and, ex you know, guidance at that point, why did Bill get murdered in the first place? Why was he so caught up in Team Rocket then? And there's probably reasons why. But my point is, Bill knew about Team Rocket and knew about the cloning experiment. Same thing with some of the other characters, Dr. Fuji, Professor Oak. And to remind you, you know, Professor Oak was supposed to be the original final boss of Team Rocket, um, or not Team Rocket, of Pokemon Gen 1. But because of cartridge limitations, because certain things were turned around, left out, but they were still heavily implied, and a lot of people miss this stuff because you have to really look for it. It's there, but you've got to look for it. And the fact that, I mean, even in Gen 1, you can actually go to, in the prototype, Mewtwo wasn't even found in Cerulean Cave. It was supposed to be found at the Silthco in an area that was cut off, and that's where Professor Oak was at the time. Um, so, and not only that, even before all this, the secret key that you got from Cinnabar Island, where Mewtwo was originally located... Before it was, you know, like the cloning experiments that were being done was financed by Team Rocket, Giovanni in this case. And then I, I don't, it doesn't surprise me that Bill might have had ties to some of the people that were involved because they had propositions. So here's another one. There's Mewtwo again on the door. And then there's Ditto, Gengar, Muck, um, Victory Bell... Uh, Golbat, Moltres, Arcanine. Oh, this is probably when Arcanine was still considered a legendary. But, um, well, actually, no, and even about that, even legendary Pokemon were supposed to be caught more than once. Same thing with the legendary birds. You just had to find them at certain points, and you'd go there and catch them. You know, it, they weren't just static encounters in one per, um, one per playthrough or something like that. You know, that's not how it really was supposed to be. But what's even stranger, though, is I, th I do feel like Bill, he didn't invent the capsule. He invented the, the transportation system, but I don't think he invented the Pokeball. That was the Silthco, I believe, because they were the ones that were mass producing it. But then what's even stranger to think is even, even Team Rocket knew that Bill was successful for what he did. And Giovanni wanted his help on certain things. However, though, I think they also got rid of Bill at certain points because they were interfering with... It was starting to come to light with what he was doing. He didn't believe in what Giovanni was doing. And it, it started being like politics and all that that got him involved. At least in the Omega timeline. I don't know how true it is for everything else, but... I wouldn't be surprised certain things are still the same, though, just maybe off-screen at some point. But, but no, I, I do think, at least as far as Bill knowing about Mewtwo and Mew, he had to have known a lot about it because he knew about... He was a researcher, he did a lot of experiments, and he knew people that knew about it. Professor Oak, the gym leaders. Um, it's actually kind of interesting... Uh, how far back Bill's legacy goes, even if he's still young, but very successful, very rich. Um, he was born, now mind you, he was born in Goldenrod City, but he was also born into a wealthy family. And I think that also had a lot to do with how he became successful. He taught himself programming and some other stuff, but he did something with it and changed the world, you know, kind of like... I think, if I'm not mistaken, the character 
Bill was supposed to be based on Bill Gates at the time when computers were becoming what they were. If I'm not mistaken, Bill was actually based on Bill Gates in the Pokemon series, but in real life. So that's actually kind of interesting, if I remember that correctly. Um, But yeah, for... Because what's also weird, and I made a video about this a couple years ago too, if you really think about how Professor Oak knew about all 151 Pokemon at this point in time, but he still invented the Pokemon uh, Pokedex... And how is it that those page entries still existed, even for Mewtwo and Mew? Because he knew about it beforehand. So that's the thing. Because if it wasn't available, it would just say no available data is there. But it was there, though. How did, how did Professor Oak know about Mew and Mewtwo? Well, you got to remember, he wanted his grandson and others to go on an adventure and experience what he went through. Professor Oak was the champion of the Cano region many years ago and he definitely was not I mean he he knew people a lot of people knew who he was and that's just kind of how that went there's a lot of things that happened be behind the scenes but this is just one of them if not particularly a lot of other stuff too